Hello there. Do you like my voice? If so, consider subscribing and I'll post audios just for you and only for you. Well then, enjoy the rest of the video. Sorry, I don't have any chairs here, but you can take a seat on my bed. There is plenty of space and hey, it's a lot comfier than a chair. Thanks for coming over on such short notice. By the way, there was actually something I wanted to ask you. You see, you know what's coming up, right? Well, yeah, that. But there is something besides that. I was talking about your birthday. Don't tell me you forgot. Well, I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. I was hoping you'd be able to tell me what sort of present you'd like me to get you. I know surprises are nice, and it would be great if I surprised you with something you really liked. But I'm worried I'd maybe accidentally get you something you didn't like, and that would really suck and ruin the special occasion. Not to mention, and you'd have to awkwardly pretend to like it or want it in order to protect my feelings. Now I think I have a vague idea of the sort of thing you'd like as a present. I didn't write up you for nothing. But I would really like to hear it from you, just to make sure. I mean, as much as I'd love to, I can't read your mind, so you're going to have to tell me. You what? Could you say that again? That's what I thought you said. Don't tell me you heard what I whispered. You didn't. You're sure? So then, are you serious? You really want me to pretend to be a yandere for your birthday? Like the painted you on the inside of the eyelid so they can even watch you in their sleep? Kind of yandere? The kind of yandere? I mean, I'm not judging. But why would you want me to pretend to be a yandere for your birthday? Because you like yandere's. Really? You know what a yandere is, right? The kind of person that has a shrine to their love interest, stalks them, sneaks into their houses when they aren't around to roll around in their blankets. That sort of thing. That's the sort of personality you love. Well, okay. Like I said, I'm not judging. I'd do anything to make you happy, so I can pretend to be yandere for you. Now, just to make sure that this is what you really want for your birthday, how about we have a free trial right now? Sound good? <laughs> That's what I thought you would say. Now... How should I start things off? Hmm. Oh, I know. Why did I handcuff you to the bed? Because it's what a yonder would do. You know how the stock line goes. Oh, now you can never leave me. We'll be together forever. You won't be able to see anyone else, but it's okay. I'm the only person you need. I'll do anything for you, other than let you go outside. I'm sure we both have heard it a thousand times by now. Are oh, you are right so far. We really should have established a safe word or something before starting all this. Oh well, too late now. But, from the look on your face, it seems we don't need one. I've never seen you smile like that. I didn't even know your mouth could open up that wide. It's kind of scary. Maybe you really do like yandere's. I thought you were pulling my leg at first. 
but I think you're starting to get through to me. Well, I'm just happy you're happy. It's good you like me as a yandere. Pretend yandere, of course. This is all pretend. I'm not really imprisoning you in my house for the rest of our lives. Unless... You want me to? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Like I said, this is all an act. Just like you wanted. I'm not really handcuffing you to my bed. That's not to say I'm not dedicated to my role, though. I mean, look, I have my notebook here. I wrote your name in it, from cover to cover. It's also full of hearts next to each names from time to time. I've got more like this if you want to see. Just like a real yonder I would. <laughs> I'm joking. Look, let me open it up for you. See? The insides are all blank. This notebook is empty. It was so easy to tease. You look like you really believe me for a second. But, um, I'm not sure if that grin in your face is the proper response to a crazy yandere. However, what would I know? I am a crazy yandere. Wow, you really like it when I say I am a crazy yandere, don't you? That really touches my heart, because, you know, I'm actually even crazier than this. Hey, could you do me a favor? Could you take a look inside this notebook for me and tell me what you see? That's right, your name from cover to cover, decorated with hearts. It really wasn't a bother. In fact, I enjoyed it. That's why this isn't the only one. I really wish I was more... well-worded. Then maybe I could tell you just how much I indeed love you. But when I'm by myself, I felt this way. The only real way that I could express my love. But putting it down into notebooks, one by one, flooding the paper with my affection. I can't tell if that wide-eyed expression of yours is shock or ecstasy, but I guess it doesn't matter. You really do love Yanderis, don't you? So you love me. Don't you, darling? I love you. I love you more than you could ever imagine. It hurts me so much to be away from you. It's hard to function. That's why I keep one of your bloody band-aids on me all the time. So it's like you're always with me, no matter where I go. And that was just in the past. Now that I know you love the real me, that makes me love you even more. I don't have to hide it anymore. I don't have to worry about being too clingy. I can finally show you just how much I love you, even if I can't tell you. But just to confirm, you really do like Yandere's, right? And you love me. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, but you know I'm being real, right? This isn't just all an act. I thought the notebook would definitely get the idea across. But maybe you thought it was just a lucky pop I had beforehand or something. No, I really love you this much. If you doubt it, I could prove it. By, say, killing someone for you. No, you believe me? Oh, that's such a relief. To think my feelings actually reached you. We need to celebrate. There's so many things we could do to celebrate. I could put a GPS tracker on you. I mean, it's redundant at this point, but it would be consensual this time. Or we could take a look at our photo album, full of all the pictures I took of you before we met. Ah. Uh... 
The future is blinding. What's that? Do you want to get out? Hmm. I don't know. I know things were working out even before all this. So logically, it's not like I have to keep you here. But still, it's so hard to believe you actually love me. Part of me still feels anxious that you're just making this all up and that you'll run away, you know. And that makes me want to keep you here like this. Well, okay. I'll let you out. In a little bit. Just let me cling on to you for a while. And just really appreciate you being in my clutches. This doesn't happen every day, after all. <laughs> but I guess it can be from now on. Hmm. I guess I'll have to get you a different birthday present now. I'm sure I'll think of something. <laughs>